Dear friends in Christ of the Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart, indeed, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia. Please join Bishop George Shelps, Father Locke, and myself for the 11 a.m. live stream mass on Easter Sunday morning. As we gather to celebrate the joy of Easter, let us remember all who are burdened, especially those affected by this pandemic. The life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ is the greatest story ever that occurred. Jesus' resurrection gives us joy because Jesus gives us life, eternal life. And what other story could come ever close to bringing us greater joy? And yet before every resurrection, there is always the sacrifice and challenge of carrying the cross. Jesus' very life serves as a model for our lives to give life to one another, to bring Easter joy and life to others. All of this despite the personal sacrifice and challenge required. What is this Easter life that we give? First, it is the joy we give ourselves again and again by reminding ourselves what a spectacular gift we have. Even though sometimes we may feel well, as if we're climbing a series of increasing and higher and treacherous mountains. All these times, only the miracle of the gift of faith encourages us to get through. Secondly, Jesus exhorts us to help one another in this Easter joy, even when we may be wonder or doubt or frightened. We are helping others climb mountains, the mountains of financial challenges, sadness, anxiety, sickness, loneliness, and perhaps despair. We are called to be a resurrected people and help one another to share in this privilege. Our Easter joy can grow weaker at times when we think of this awesome responsibility of being truly a giver of life one who bears the joy of Christ. But Christ always remains with us to embolden us, to strengthen us. The disciples leave when they encounter the evidence of the resurrection. We have the benefit of 2,000 years of reflection and the constant experiences of faith of so many before us to help us to believe, to truly believe the joy of Easter, and we have the power of the Holy Spirit guiding us. Let us rejoice that Jesus Christ is indeed risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Praise be the Sacred Heart of Jesus, now and forever. Amen.